Hey everybody, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, story time today, today I thought I'd tell you a little story of a story that I told my mom back in the fourth grade because I was afraid to be in the bathroom by myself, so some of you said you wanted to get to know me a little bit better. You wanted some story, so I'm going to start with this one because it's probably one of my proudest moments ever. Um, but while I tell this story, you might want to go in and get some snacks from the kitchen. And uh, I'm going to start with Mary's Gone Crackers. She's Gone Crackers, y'all. Um, look at this. These are real thin. No wheat. Real thin. They're organic and gluten free. They're real thin crackers with sea salt. Uh, the taste and texture you love without the wheat. Really. The hell is in these things? I'm not really sure, but. Ooh, Mary! Dang, Mary. She's looking a little spicy back here. Mary better tone it down. This is a family show for the most part. So anyways, let me try one of these. I'm getting hint of cardboard. Actually, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'd probably eat one more of those. Okay, so the story is we were staying with my Aunt Faye and Uncle Skeet in um, Susanville. And I needed to take a bath. But I was a fraidy cat, and I didn't want to be in the bathroom by myself. So I thought, mm, I, need to, I need to get somebody in here with me. Stat. So I'm making my bath, getting my bubbles all ready, because, you know, bubble bath. Why not? What other kind of bath are you going to take? So the whole time I'm thinking, I... I'm going to call my mom in here, but she's not going to want to stay because if I don't give her a good reason to stay, she's not going to stay. And if I just tell her that I'm afraid of the dark and I just don't want to, not that it was dark, I'm not, I wasn't afraid of the dark. I was afraid to be in there by myself. <laughs> I was afraid a monster was going to come and get me, my little scrawny body. So I call her in there and, uh, she comes in and, and I'm just winging it off the top of my head. I don't even know why I said what I said, but I told her, you know, I'm kind of stalling. And she's like, you know, I could tell she wanted to go back into the other room and talk to my aunt and stuff because <laughs> I was boring in there with my bows. So I said, Mom, I have something I need to tell you. And she says, okay. And I said, I'm always sent down for this. <laughs> I'm in the fourth grade. I don't even know how old you are in the fourth grade, but I was pretty young. So this is pretty, it's pretty serious. You might want to sit down. She's like, okay. You know, <laughs> what's a fourth grader going to tell her? So I said, well... At school, I've been seeing a psychiatrist. And she said, what? And I said, yeah. And mind you, I kept a straight face through all of this. I don't know how I did it, but like I said, it was one of my prouder moments in life. So I said, yeah, I've been seeing a psychiatrist at school. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I said, well, you know... The teacher just thought maybe I needed somebody to talk to, so 
send me to a psychiatrist. And the whole while I'm like washing my body, getting my bubbles everywhere, getting all clean. And, and um, so then I have to put in some, you know, some some facts that she sticks around because she thinks I'm literally just pulling her leg right now. So she goes, what are you talking about? You know, you stop. You're just joking, you know. I said, no, really. I've been seeing a psychiatrist at school. Because at our school at the time, some they they brought the kids in like shifts because there were so many kids at that school. And so I said, you know how some kids come in at 9 and some kids come in at 11 and some kids come in at 7. I said, well, really, I, I go in at 7, but I'm not supposed to be there until 9. So in those two hours of before school, I see a psychiatrist. So now she's, <laughs> now she's starting to believe me. She sits down on the toilet and she's like, why, you know, wow. And I could see in her head that I had her hooked. So I knew I had her for a few more minutes. So I decided to wash my hair. <laughs> Make the most of it. Do I wash my hair? Wash it, wash it, wash it. Whole time I'm scrubbing. And uh, she's like, wow, I had no idea, you know. And, and so now I'm pretty much finished with my bath. And I, and I said, I'm just kidding. And she goes, what? And I said, yeah, I'm just, I was just kidding. I, I just didn't want to be in here by myself. And she's like, what? And I said, I made it up. I just didn't want to be in here by myself. So I had to think of something to keep you in here. And lucky for me, my mom had a great sense of humor. Ruby, red dress is what we called her. My aunt called her pistol. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe I shouldn't have been lying to her. Anyways, uh, she cracked up. She just started dying laughing. And I'm drying off. I'm fine now, you know. I don't care if she leaves the room. So she goes in and tells my aunt and uncle the story. And I can hear them all busting up laughing. It was just, it, it was crazy. I don't even know. Maybe I did need to see a psychiatrist. I don't even know why I told that story. But um, anyways, I thought you might enjoy it. I got a few more stories I'll tell. So uh, stay tuned to my channel. And I'll keep you posted. And uh, I'll post another story soon. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. I'm up to 19 subscribers, guys. I don't know if YouTube can handle this traffic I'm getting. But um, comment on the video, like and hit subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.